Hey everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This time it's a green ombre design for St. Patrick's Day with some gold stamping. Before we get started, I just want to remind everybody to go down and hit that like button as well as subscribe and hit post notifications so you can find out when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. So I am going to start off giving another try to this Madame Glam peel off base coat. I had a little trouble with my testing from last week because my gel nails decided to lift so when I tried to pull up the base coat I actually ended up getting underneath where my nails were lifting. So I am going to give it another try. I'm trying to put on a nice thick coat now that I, since I've repaired my nails. And then on my other hand I have decided to give the Unt um, peel off base coat a try and just compare them apples to apples. Do one on one hand and one on the other. So the reason I want to give these a good comparison is that Madame Glam is twice the price of the Unt ready for takeoff and if it's not going to work as well then uh, why would I want to pay double the price? So I'm going to use three colors in my ombre design. The first one is Highlight of My Summer then Four Leaf Clover and Take a Hike, all from China Glace. I am going to start off with a couple coats of the Highlight of My Summer, which is the lightest color in the palette, so that my ombre design has a great base to it. And I will have all the products I'm using listed in the description box. And as per usual, I have painted my other hand off camera. my cleanup to a minimum. I use this clean cuticle product. I get mine from Twinkle Tea, but there are other places that sell it as well. I can't use liquid latex, so this is the best option for me. So I'm going to start off with a clean, um, and I use a dry, non-latex makeup sponge. A lot of people do um, dampen their sponge before they lay the polish down so that they use a little bit less polish. I'd rather use a little bit more polish and make sure the opacity is a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just laying down some strips of nail polish, making sure the sponge is completely saturated, and making sure that I overlap my colors before I start sponging. And I did shake all my polish bottles, and I thought I had uncapped them all before I got started laying down the polish, but that one was being a little stubborn. I also seem to find it really awkward to use my hands when I have the clean cuticle around. It really makes no sense because they go like right onto your fingers. There shouldn't be any reason I have issues holding onto polish bottle caps when I have them on. important to make sure your sponge is definitely saturated because if it's too dry and you go to put it down on your nails it is actually going to lift up your already dry polish and you don't want to have that happen. It's better to have maybe more polish on there than you think you need and then it is easier to sponge. Now that my sponge is all loaded with polish I just place it on my nail and try and dab it down. I usually do a roll motion first, but some people just dab it. Um, then I usually try to make sure that I've got the layers where I want them. If it isn't on the first go round, I can always get it on my second coat. And as you dab, if it starts to feel a bit sticky, just keep adding more polish so that you don't have that problem so you can get a nice smooth gradient. And it will look a little bumpy until you put top coat on, but trust me, it does. So I'm just going to keep putting more polish on and going along all of my nails until I've got one coat on all of them. And then by that time, I'm ready to start the second round. And I think on this one, I did three or four rounds because I kept wanting to change exactly where or how much dark of the dark green polish I had 
showing on the nail, but I wanted to make sure I still had enough of the light green. And like I said, if you find that you don't get that on the first go round exactly the way you want it, when you go around the second time, you can just move it slightly and adjust where the colors are laying and fix it up. It's just that easy. If you find that you take some time in between your coats of your gradient and your sponge get, dries up and gets a little crusty, you can just snip the top off and reload the sponge or find a different spot on the sponge and reload it. I found that my polish dried by the time I finished my 10th nail, my first nail was dry and I just was able to carry on for all of my coats without actually taking a break. So once I was done doing my gradient, it was time to pull off my clean cuticle cuticle protectors um, and then do a little bit of cleanup when I was done. You want to make sure that you do this before the polish is completely dry otherwise it may pull up some of the gradient along the edges. And I'm sorry that some of this was off camera. I was trying to see what I was doing to make sure I didn't mess up my design and then forgot to make sure I left my hand in the camera view. cuticle protector and cleaned up any other excess polish on my skin with my cleanup brush. I'm throwing on a coat of my fast forward quick dry top coat from China Glaze to smooth out the gradient and give myself a nice surface for stamping. So I'm going to use my spring elation stamping plate from What's Up Nails again using that Celtic Knot design. As well, I'm going to use my Clear Jelly Stamper Gold Stamping Polish. I did do my first nail with the my small crystal clear clear jelly stamper and then moved to my larger clear stamper because I find with a full nail that is much easier. Again, I'm just putting on some stamping polish and doing a light scrape, or maybe not such a light scrape, just a light roll and then pressing that onto my nail. I did end up deciding to do my index finger first because I did use the small stamper and I just felt like it wasn't going to fit on my thumb properly. I always clean my plate between when I'm using the same ones with just a light acetone uh, nail polish remover and I was trying to clean up around my cuticle with scotch tape but that didn't work very well and I went back to using a nail cleanup brush and some nail polish remover again that was just much easier. Um, I do clean my stamping head with scotch tape because I find that is just a much easier way to do. But you know a good cleanup brush and a little bit of nail polish remover or acetone is all you need to clean up around the stamping. If you wanted to you could tape up your finger before you stamped or for people that can use liquid latex um, cuticle barriers you can use that. I just didn't feel um, like it was necessary to use another clean cuticle pack um, on my nails for such small amount of cleanup. For sponging or water marbling definitely but not for just some quick stamping I can clean that up pretty easy. So I am just using the same image and polish and technique for the rest of my 10 nails. I decided to just do them all the same this time and once that's done we'll move on to the final top coat.
now that I'm done with my stamping design, I am using my fast forward top coat again. And just remember when you're dealing with a stamp design to just float your top coat so that you don't smear your design. I find fast forward because it's a thinner top coat works really well for this. So I'm really pleased with how this second design I did for St. Patrick's Day turned out. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and if that's the case, if you could please go down and hit that like button, as well as subscribe and hit post notifications so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.